Hello world, welcome to today's episode of Bible Tea. Today we are talking about the safety that is inside of God. The safety we have in the name of the Lord. The safety we have when we have Jesus in our lives. We're going to read from the book of Proverbs 18 verse 10. And it reads, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Okay, other versions will say the name of the Lord is a strong, it is a fortress. The righteous run into it and they have safety. What is safety? You know, people just think, okay, I've accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I'm safe and that's it. No, it's deeper than that. So we are going to break it down. What exactly is safety? Okay, number one. In the name of the Lord, there is safety. That means there is guidance. Okay? That's the first thing. God will guide your path. Okay? In the book of Isaiah 30 verse 20, it says, I, the Lord, when you wander off to the left or to the right, Tina, I, the Lord, will guide you back to the, to, to the path where you're supposed to be. You will listen to my voice and you will be back on that path. It means you've accepted God, you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, and because of that, you're able to hear his voice, and because of that, you're able to uh, accept his guidance and work on it, and therefore you are safe. So it's not just safety like, oh, I'm physically safe. No, it's also guidance in our lives, in making decisions, in wherever you find yourself. The Lord will guide you, and that in itself is, guy is uh, sorry, is safety. When the Lord guides you, when you have guidance from the Lord, you are safe. You see, uh, this verse, Isaiah 30, 20, which says, when you wander off to the left or to the right, I will bring you back to, to the path. It means you are you, you are human. You're going to make mistakes. Okay? Just because you've accepted Jesus does not mean, oh, you're now perfect. No. You begin to trust the Lord. You know, when you give your life to Christ, it's a trusting journey. You trust Jesus throughout. You trust his guidance and you listen out for his voice. So there is safety in that. You are safe. Meaning whenever you go to the left, where you're not supposed to be, where there's danger, go to bring you back or to the right where you think, oh, this is what I desire for the moment. You know, to pleasure yourself or to pleasure uh, whatever desires you have. You know, financially you go off and, you know, start other projects which you knew you're not supposed to start. God will bring you back to the path. Not that he doesn't have good plans for you. He does. But this is the path and you are safe in it. And the Lord God knows he has good plans for you, not plans of evil. So there is guidance in safety with the Lord. There is also wisdom. Yes, we need wisdom in our daily lives. Everybody wants to be wise these days. That's why you see people talking up and down. Everybody wants to prove a point. Nobody wants to look foolish. Everybody wants to be wise. And not only that, people want to make the best decisions. Okay? When a situation comes up and they don't know what to do. Because you are in the Lord, there is wisdom. In the Bible it says, He who lacks wisdom should ask and to be given to him freely. There's another verse that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know, people think fear of the Lord is, oh, we're so scared, we tremble. The Lord is here, oh my God, let's hide ourselves. No, you know, you know. <laughs> for me, I see fear of the Lord as a consciousness of who God really is, of what he's capable of doing. I see the fear of the Lord as because I love God, I will not do this thing. It's not because I fear him. No, it's it's because of that consciousness I have that I know what God is capable of doing. I know that God wants the best for me. And if he's saying this is wrong, I will not do it. I'm not fearing him. No, I'm doing it out of love. So when you begin to, to, to live your life like that, you have wisdom. And wisdom in turn will keep you safe. Safe from the troubles of life. Troubles of life will come. Don't think because you gave your life to Christ and that's it. Everything is good to go. No, you need the wisdom of God. And in that safety... That safety, when when you come running to God and you accept him, you are safe because there's wisdom. There's guidance and now there's wisdom. There is also victory. I love this part. Everybody wants to win. Okay, if whatever, wherever you find yourself, you want to win. You want to um, you know, be the best at what you do. That's what winning is, okay? Uh, overcoming challenges. Um, 
victory in the book of psalms 3 verse 3 it says you O lord are my shield from danger but it just doesn't end there this is why i love the lord god will shield you from danger at the same time it goes on to say you O lord are my shield from danger it goes on to say you give me victory god gives you victory it goes on to say you restore my courage it means when god gives you victory it doesn't end there he gives you courage to face the next challenge or the next issue or the next decision that you need to make. We need victory. Spiritually, we need victory. Very important. We don't know the kind of battles God is fighting for us. We need that victory. Physically, we need victory. Mentally, there are mental issues out there. You need to thrive. You need to, 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 to win your mind over you know, certain things. Emotionally, you need victory. Okay? So we need victory in our daily lives and it is right there in the strong tower but it's not any tower you know in the beginning we said other visions say uh the name of the lord is a fortress what is a fortress it's like a, it's, it's it's like a perimeter a barricade that nobody can uh you know penetrate can infiltrate nobody it's a fortress that means when you are in that place there is a lot that you need that you can benefit and one of the things is victory god will give you victory over the issues of life okay then we also have um there is power there is power in the safety of the lord there is so much power i'll take you back to um the story of jesus before he was uh crucified i want you to imagine take yourself back uh, okay, just imagine you were there at that time when Jesus was crucified. We wanted him to die, and eventually he died. But others were heartbroken by it. They they just believed that this, you know, I'd, like even though he said you rise, I don't think this like this is it. Our Lord is gone. Even people who who are followers of Jesus just they were devastated. But then he rose, and even when he rose, the same believers were like, no, this can't be true. This is this. Are you sure he's, he's the one? Doubting Thomas had to ask the Lord, can I just touch the wounds? Let me believe that this is you. That's how miraculous his resurrection was. Now, in the Bible, it says that same power that raised Jesus from the dead is on the inside of me. It's on the inside of you. Okay? So it means you have great power. There are certain things that you don't, you don't even need to work your mind about like, oh, this is happening to me. You can speak to it. God in the beginning said, let there be light, and there was light. Means that same power there is on the inside of you. So in the safety of the Lord, there is power. You have power over your situation. You can speak over it. And it happens. I have many testimonies on power. One time I was uh, attacked. I was, um, robbers came into my house, and they stole valuable things. They stole my hard drive, which had my entire life like when i talk about pictures when i talk about work everything was on the hard drive and i just held my hand out and i said in this hand i will have my hard drive back that's another story for another day but i want to tell you that it has worked for me and shortly after that that power back i held it in my hand back from the hands of the thieves and i had it back and then i realized that god's power actually works <laughs> so you have power Okay, there is power in the safety of the Lord. And then now there is joy. I mean, everybody wants to be joyful. I don't think there's a person who just wakes up and say, I want to be sad. No. Okay, and everybody has felt sad here and there. And it's not really a nice thing. So joy is something that everybody wants. Maybe you've experienced loss or you are heartbroken or there are issues of life that keep you stressed or depressed. Joy. The fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy. You know, we, we know this verse so much and we've even made a song out of it. But do we actually believe that? And sometimes we, 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 we feel like this verse doesn't really, you know, there are people who say re replace... Um, um 
your name in that verse say i i i am love i'm joy i'm peace and then yeah replacing your name and then you find i'm not any of these things so that's where the challenge is people think they have to create that love they have to create that peace they have to give out that but what they don't understand is it's the holy spirit in the inside of you so it's not about you just giving it's about you first receiving you understand you need to receive these things you need to receive love you need to receive peace before you can even give it out so you have the channel of this verse is first you receive from the holy spirit meaning you receive joy you are joyful whether you are heartbroken from a relationship or you know family betrayal or you're just down even in the bible it says god heals the brokenhearted it's there. He heals. He, he gives joy to the broken and He heals the broken hearted. So it means in the safety of the Lord, there is joy. There are so many benefits. There is patience. There is love. You, you will have to be a patient person. You cannot be in the presence of God and just remain the same. You have to change. Okay? It changes you in many ways. So it's not just about, you know, safety i'm safe and that's it no, it transforms you you cannot be in the presence of god and still be toxic i'm sorry to say <laughs> i have to bring it up you cannot be in the presence of god and still be betraying people still be conniving still be evil still have wicked plans no you have there, there has to be a transformation that needs to needs, needs to happen with the holy spirit inside of you giving you love joy peace all these things okay so there is joy in the safety of the lord when you are down, remember that there is joy in the safety of the Lord. And then now we have peace. The same thing I talked about. Okay, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, all those things. There is peace. Nobody wants to live at war unless you are just a, a sadist or you, or, or you thrive on people being, you know, having differences and all that misunderstandings but there is peace in the safety of the lord let me tell you i've experienced peace like at some point i was like wait a minute like there's no drama in my life right now and i realized i'm i'm with god sometimes i had to move out of certain places out of certain surroundings i had to cut off certain people just to have that peace and it didn't just come naturally it was a leading of god so there is peace in God, in the name of the Lord, the safety of the Lord, there is peace. I'll take you back to the book of Mark where Jesus has silenced a storm. They were they having a storm and then Jesus says, silence. And the storm was still and there was peace. Peace be still. Imagine having that kind of a friend who can speak to something and it happens. I mean, I would be all over that person. I'd be, we will be best friends. And that is Jesus for you you can have peace you don't really have to fight every war some things you leave to god you can have peace the peace of god is so priceless that there are certain things that you need to even forsake just to gain that peace so there is peace in the name of the lord believe it in your heart that i have peace when I, whenever trouble comes, you have peace. Grant to God. The verse says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. You have to run away from certain things. You run from certain things. You run to God. You run into peace. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they have peace. And they have victory. And they have guidance. And they have joy. They have wisdom. We've talked about these things. Okay? And now... Uh, the last one, there is purpose. Okay? In the name of the Lord, in the safety of the Lord, there is purpose. Everybody wants to do something in this world. Most people, anyway, that some people just don't, you know, they're just, re they're just living freely. But I believe that everybody wants to do something impactful. You have a purpose, okay? And there are some people who believe they are just here. They, they don't really know why they are here. They don't believe in the power of God. They don't believe that God actually handpicked them, put them in their mother's womb, put them on this earth. They don't believe that. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. In the book of Psalms 139, it says, I formed you born by born, flesh by flesh. In your mother's womb, I was there. I'm always there with you. Okay? He formed you born by blonde, fearfully and wonderfully made. 
God didn't just wake up and say, Oh, what was that? Oh, Tina. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> he brought you here. He's not surprised by your existence. So you have a purpose. And in the safety of the Lord, there is purpose. Okay? And the danger in not knowing your purpose is people are going to bring ideas to you. And you will run with it. Okay? You'll be like, oh, that looks nice. Oh, financially, that I, I, would, I, would, I would really thrive on that. Oh, this looks really interesting. You know, people are going to bring you certain ideas. And because of that, you will run with it. And you, and you find yourself in problems. At the end of the day, you are not safe. That is why when you know the exact purpose for your life, there is safety. When you know the purpose that God has for you, you are, you are moving. Remember the first thing we said, there is guidance. You are moving on that path of guidance. God has given you purpose. Follow it. Follow it. There is safety. There is safety. Safety. I, the Lord, know the plans I have for you. Plans of good and not of evil. There is safety. There is purpose. God knows. God sees the future. God sees the future. So why not run with somebody who knows the future? Don't be deceived. You have a purpose. You are important and you have a purpose. Okay, and lastly, we are, we are going to summarize this verse. We are going to, do, we are going to break it. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Okay? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. We're going to talk about that word, righteous. Righteous. And I know you're thinking, okay, I've heard the voice. I've heard what you've said, but I don't think I'm really righteous. You know, and, you know, it's not about your works. It's not about what you do. I'm sure you've heard this a lot of times, but I'm going to say it again. It's not about what you do for god you are the righteousness of god once you've accepted jesus once you've said you are my lord you are my savior you are righteous because your righteousness your works in the bible it says that a filthy rag before god that very filthy you cannot be per you as a human being no matter what you try you will make a mistake you will you will, cannot be perfect as perfect as jesus that is why we take up the nature of jesus and we become righteous so we are the righteousness of God and we run into it. Another part of this verse is we run. You remember the story of the, of the prodigal son when he came back to the father and, and the father saw him and he ran towards the father and the father ran to him. You have to run. You have to make a move. God will not neglect you, but God will not force you either. You have to run to God. You have to make a decision today to say, today I'm going to run to God. And when you do that, you allow God in the driver's seat of your life, of your decisions. You need wisdom. You need guidance. You need victory. You need joy. You need peace. You need to know your purpose. You run to God. No one else. God cannot deceive you. Other people will deceive you. No one else can advise you as great as God can. God is the greatest mentor. He's the greatest advisor. So whatever you're looking for is in the inside of God. And when you are there, there is safety. The name of the Lord, that, that in his name, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not any regular tower, strong tower with a great foundation. The righteous run into it and they are safe. So if you, if you want to be safe today, run to, the, run to the Lord, go back to him. You can rededicate your life. You can give your life back to Jesus. And now I want to give an opportunity to those who would like to start again to say, God, I've, I've, I've been away for a long time and I want to come home. Or you say, oh, this is interesting. I really want to enjoy this God. I really want to experience his goodness. You can repeat after me. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for my sins, for dying for my pain. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart. Make my heart your home. I want to experience you. Lord, I want to come back to you and start over. I do all this believing in my heart that I've officially given my life to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. If you did that, there's an applause in heaven going on right now, a joy, because you are back to God, or you have come to God for the very first time, and God is excited 
I'm excited for you. It's been an awesome, awesome, awesome study of the word with today's Bible tea. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe to my channel. This could bless somebody. Please share it with someone. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Bye.